Beans coming up right now. Niven looking pretty cheerful. Um, I believe these guys have played earlier in bracket, so let's have a look. So Niven just took out Corpse, which is a um, real good job for him. I don't think he's beaten Corpse for a while in bracket, so let's have a look. Yeah, so Beans took out Niven 2-0 earlier in round 3 um, of winners. So this is this is a rematch from actually really far, um, really earlier in the tournament. So um, this should be pretty exciting. Yeah, this is still loses round seven. So yeah, I know. Okay, so here we go. So we're striking the battlefield. Um, so well, this will be really interesting to see. We just saw um, Beans playing. Um, Chapels as Marth, so it'll be really interesting to see if he adjusts to the different play styles here. Um, Niven playing a very kind of old school Marth, very um, very passive I find him, he's not very aggressive, he likes to sit back, kind of bait stuff out, um, likes to ha spend a lot of time at the ledge, so you'll kind of see him kind of like going to the ledge when he um, thinks that he needs to. Oh, and is that that? Let's have a look what he gets from this. Oh, just charging that neutral B and that's it, that's a stop. Alrighty, so um, Niven starting off with a, you know, pretty quick and early strong lead. Let's see what he's going to make of this. He's uh, one of the things that I kind of think Niven's uh, especially good at and focuses a lot on as opposed to some of the other um, players in the community who are a bit newer um, is Niven's really a lot about stage control. He will... Oh wow! Oh that reverse knee! Probably not what Beans was after. I'm sure that would have got the kill otherwise. But uh, still manages to take the stock anyway. Um, but yeah, like Niven, Niven's really a lot about stage control. He's just um, he's making sure that you know you're kind of exactly where he wants you to be, and you're on the outskirts, and he just controls the stage so well. Um, whereas a lot of the the newer school players, not so much. So it's kind of you know not not something they're used to. But Niven, he's been playing since um, back in like um, probably pre 2007, so it's uh, definitely something that he's very used to. <coughs> Okay, let's have a look here. Oh, that back air. That took out his jump. No, oh, but he makes it back. And just that raw knee. <laughs> and that looks like that will be the stock. So pretty close so far. So we got um, two all. Oh, went for a, just a very interesting knee right there. But um, got clipped out with a uh, forward air. Using, yep, good and air approaches there. <laughs> Oh, wow. Just dashed down his knee. Doesn't get a kill from it, but still 25%. And misses the tech chase on the platform. Another knee. Um, Bean's really good at the moment of calling out Niven's movements. Um, kind of like really paying attention to where he's dash dancing, where he's jumping, when he's going to move, and just putting a knee there. It's, um, I mean, you really think about it, he's probably got four or, four or five of them so far this set, and that's that's already like, that's 100 damage. Um, so that's quite a lot. But yep, simple edge guard, using the get up attack to push him off if he lands on stage. Another knee there, soft knee though, which allowed him to combo into Gentleman. Oh, misses the tech chase there. Off stage. Oh wow! Didn't probably didn't expect me to get caught by that grab, but good tipper there. And that's it. Hits by the neutral B, doesn't sweet spot. Games one goes to Niven. Okay, so let's look where they strike. Um, I think Marth is going to obviously want, um, you know, uh, plays like FD, so I assume we probably won't go there. He's best of three still our bands. Dreamland, I think, is probably. Oh! Beans takes him, Marth FD. Um, you know, I've heard this is actually a pretty good matchup um, on FD for Falcon. Um, he, he gets a lot more of the movements, can't be comboed as hard because of the platforms, and he doesn't get chain grabbed as hard as Fox or Falco. So, you know, it's um, definitely something I've heard people say that this matchup is very doable on for Falcon on FD. And Beans being a very good Falcon, already proving already that he can take out Niven's Moth as he has done early in the bracket. And this is still a best of three. So. <coughs> Oh wow, just, that was a Randy Ford smash. Kind of pretty, I think a bit of an over commitment there by Beans. Uh, looks like Beans is doing a lot of, um, a lot of approaches with, uh, on shield that he's just getting grabbed for. And 
I mean, Niven really isn't capitalizing on it, but it's definitely something he should be watching out for in the future. Wow, monster tipper right there. Um, unfortunately, Beans' DI are too good. Oh, wow, a lot of rolls. Except both players are a bit nervous to be at the edge there. And just roll, roll to fail, gentlemen. <laughs> nice downwards F tilt. Oh, unfortunate there for Beans. Um, Oh, I think he just uh, overshot the ledge a bit too much. It's not really what he wanted. Can you get this one? Nice. Roll on. Simple. Keep this. Take the stop. Ooh, wow. Um, yeah, wow. Just random uh, turn around forward smash there. Catches beans in the air. And that will be the stop. Tries to go for stomp knee combos. But, I mean, month at pretty low percent. So he's probably going to hit the ground pretty early. Not going to work too much. Okay, yeah, the miss space in the air there, got a grab, another grab there. Oh. Clips him with the, the tail line. Oh, that, a forward smash. Beans just calling out a, a lot of stuff in this matchup at the moment, actually. Oh, um, yeah. And Beans uh, jotting a bit about his character, so it looks like he's starting to get a bit... Oh, and there we go, just failed, um, failed jump onto stage by Niven, and that's a knee. So let's see if um, Beans gets back his composure a bit after that. It's a good shield there. You realise you couldn't go for the follow-up and just, um, wait, uh, just waited for the back air. Good dash dancing by Beans. Got the grab. Trying to, trying to um, bait out moves from Niven. Ooh, gets split by the tail end of that. Yep. Dash attack, not the best approach option that Marth has. Ooh! That looked like um, a phantom um, up tilt. That was crazy. Oh, nice. Read the tech in place. It's a forward smash. Yeah, Niven just trying to bait out something there. And that's another stop. So Niven one stop away from taking this game and knocking Beans out of uh, the tournament and then going on to face Chapos in semi semi-finals. Niven uh, with a great showing so far at this tournament. Guaranteed fourth. Um, probably one of the best that he's done. Oh! Got Beans with another reverse knee. Uh, unfortunate because he's really, in both situations, he's got that. He wants the forward one, but he's obviously just slightly misspacing it. Alternatively, maybe um, it is possible that uh, Niven is trying to DI for that and uh, just kind of mix him up. But um, seems like real next level shit there. Oh, trying to do him dirty with that reverse B, and that costs him the stop. The question is, will it cost him the game? A dash attack to forward smash. This is really unconventional. Reverse up B. But of course, um, being... Oh, and... Doesn't switch by the ledge. Unfortunately for Beans, he gets knocked out. And...